Welcome to the One Star Week for Show, FIFA 21 edition, starring your host, One Star Week Foot, and our review specialist, One Star Week Foot. Bow! Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the One Star Week Foot Show, your one stop shop for player reviews. I'm going to be your host today, One Star Week Foot, and it makes me feel great to see you back on the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, as you guys know, um, I like to review icons. I try to get a, at least one or two icon reviews in every single week. Yesterday, we reviewed Thierry Henry, uh, middle version. And today, because I was reviewing him, when I looked him up on Footbin, I saw another left wing icon that caught my eye. Of course, you guys know it's going to be 90 rated Storchkov. So guys, let's look at this card. Low key, uh, Storchkov might have one of the most meta cards on this game under 1.5 million coins. It's a wonder that he's never talked about on FIFA. It might be because his uh, nationality is not particularly great. It could be because he has medium, medium work rates. It could be because there are so many left wingers on this game. But guys, I suggest you don't sleep on Storchkov. He's five foot 10. He has medium, medium work rates. He's left footed with the four star skills, the three star weak foot, as you guys see here. I played four games with him in division rivals. I got five goals and zero assists. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, if you want more content like this, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, don't be shy. Um, I suggest, or no, 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 I ask you to uh, subscribe to my channel. I don't know why they came out so bad. Um, I appreciate all you guys at home for watching this video. So, we look at Storchkov. I mean, like I said, he looks like one of the best cards under 1.5 million coins on this game. When you look at everything you want out of an attacker, I mean, he has it. The pace is there. The shooting is absolutely insane. Passing wise, he has cam like stats. Dribbling wise, he looks very suited to the meta. And what really separates him from the other cards on this game is his physical. 81 strength is very good, but look at the 93 aggression. You already know this guy's gonna be terrorizing back lines when you use him. Um, he has 83 stamina, decent jumping and heading accuracy as well. The only con on this card is that he doesn't have any shooting traits. But because the far post shots are OP on this game, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. So, without further ado, I'm going to take you over to our review specialist in the studios, One Star Weekfoot. Take it away. Thanks, One Star. So, as you guys know, Storytrap is going to be costing you 900,000 coins on the PS4 market. Is he worth it? I would have to say absolutely. As far as attackers under 1.5 million coins, as the stats suggested, he is one of the best I have used on this game. We're going to break down the stats so you know exactly what to expect. So, first we're going to talk about his pace. He has 90 pace and this guy is rapid. He's quick on and off the ball. His acceleration out of like the L1 face shot out of the heel to heel is very, very nice. And he beat the defensive line every single time. Overall, this guy's pace is a 9.5 out of 10. Good enough to play winger. Good enough to pretty much play any attacking position on this game. Next, we'll talk about shooting and the big question here, does this three star weak foot kill the car? I would have to say no. Does it let him down at times? I would have to say yes. We're gonna break down the stats. So first we're gonna talk about his attack positioning. He has 90 and honestly in game it felt like 95. I mean, it could be because I have a Hunter Kemp style on him which brings it up to 95, but yo, his positioning was crazy. I didn't notice his medium, medium work rates being an issue at all. And I tested him at striker and I tested him at cam. He played equally well in both positions um, as far as positioning goes. Uh, and finishing wise, this guy has an absolutely lethal left foot. His right foot is actually not too bad from good angles in the box, but when it comes to tighter angles, when it comes to the far post shots, he's not gonna hit them as consistently and therefore I have to say that's a con. His long shots are actually very, very nice. Left foot finesses outside the box are as good as on target. His volleys and penalties are very nice as well. Overall, this guy's shooting is a nine out of 10. He is extremely clinical and really the only thing that would make him better is having a better weak foot. Next, we'll talk about his passing and guys, do not sleep on this guy's passing. Like I said, I did try him at cam for a lot of the time and he was insane at that position. His vision is 88, his short passing 85, curve 89, long passing 84, I mean he has every single tool in this arsenal and you're really only limited by your imagination he's also very good at making those passes in uh high pressure situations and off balance situations he's a very very good playmaker of the ball another thing not to sleep on about this card is his free kick accuracy he has a very very lethal free kick and overall this guy's passing is a 9 out of 10. Feel free to play him at cam. He is amazing in that position. Next, we'll talk about his dribbling. And this really was the make or break aspect of this card, as it is for a lot of attacking cards. And this guy feels incredibly smooth on the ball. He has 89 agility, 83 balance. Um, and what this does is because he has like a, a stocky-ish body type, he has that Memphis to pay 
body type. It makes him very hard to dispossess. He feels very quick to turn. He feels very smooth when it comes to R1 dribbling, L1 dribbling, left stick dribbling. But at the same time, he's tankish. So he, he's just a nightmare to defend against. His 89 composure helps him in all aspects of the game. And like I said, he has a lot of quality on the ball. Overall, this guy's dribbling is... 9.5 out of 10 he is very very nice on the ball and it does help him in tight areas finally we'll be talking about his physical and oh my god this guy's a beast um his body type like i said is very memphis to pay his show it's thick it's a little stocky and because he has 81 strength with 93 aggression this guy becomes so hard to dispossess if you like players that feel sticky, that feel like uh, really the ball always bounces back to them, he's going to be that guy. He has 83 stamina, which means he lasts most of the game. Um, if you play him a striker, he'll last all game. And his jumping and heading accuracy is enough to keep the opposition honest. Overall, this guy's physical is a 9 out of 10. All right, guys, so what's the final verdict on this card? I think this card is an incredible card. And I, I'm, I'm actually surprised he's only 900k. He just fits the meta so well. He has everything you want out of an attacker. Minus the weak foot. I mean, his pace and physical combination alone is, is, is already very good. His dribbling is very, very nice. And his finishing and passing are immense. He has a lot of end product. Um, his only con is really the three-star weak foot and the lack of nationality links. But overall, I got to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I highly suggest him. And if you're looking for a baller on a mid-tier icon budget, this guy is highly recommended. All right, guys. So that's going to be my review for today. Uh, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video, but until then,